Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Priyendra Kumar and today I'm gonna be starting a VBA tutorial series. So this is my first video in this tutorial series and in this video we will learn overview of the VBA procedures, type of procedures, comments writing and variable and data type. Okay, so let's start with the overview of the VBA. So friends, VBA is stand for Visual Basic for Applications and we can make our daily manual work automated by using the VBA or macros. Okay, so to start with the VBA, we need to open the Visual Basic window first. So we can open Visual Basic window from Developer tab and Visual Basic or we can press alt f11 also let's click on this button now this window will be open and this is the uh, visual basic window okay to writing our code we need to insert a module first so we can go to the insert and click on module so this is the module which is uh, available in visual basic window we can insert it module 1 so in this area the module area we can start writing our code or the procedures okay so procedures uh, friends the statement of the so uh, whatever statement we can write there in terms of procedures or whatever we want to give the steps uh, our manual step to make it automated we can write down these statements there procedures uh, have we have the two type of procedures in VBA one is functions and second is sub procedures or subroutines so functions uh, we can use functions where we need to write a similar code again and again or uh, there is a big calculation we can uh, write that calculation in a function and we can call that functions anywhere in the procedure or we can call that functions over the spreadsheet also like a user defined functions okay and the subroutine or the sub procedures subroutine we can uh, we write the subroutine to assign that macro on a button or we can call by using the call keyword or without using the call keyword also so let me give you this example To start with the function, we need to write function first, function, then the name of the function, let's say I'm typing it test, and then we can give the argument within the bracket, we will discuss later on over this. So function will start with the function keyword and end with the function keyword. We can write the statement between this area, okay, and similarly for uh, writing a subroutine. Or the sub procedure we can start with the sub and then name of the procedure like test burn and it will end with the and sub so friends make sure your function name or uh, your subroutine name should not have any space or we cannot start our function name or the subroutine name with the special character or the numeric character okay so we cannot put the name as first test it will give you an error right however we can use the underscore here in place of a space or the numeric uh, word like one two three post or between the uh, name of the function of subroutine so this is about the subroutine and the function okay so friend next is the comments writing so whenever we will start to go in a programming language we need to write few comments to understand our code in future or maybe in place of you uh, somebody else may be working on the same code so he or she able to understand whatever you have write there so, so basically comments makes our code easy to understand uh, what about the code is okay so uh, let me tell you how we can write the functions uh, sorry uh, comments to writing a comments we can start with the uh, single quit this one and then we can start writing the comments like this sorry 
this is a comma so on uh, now by default it it will display in green color like that so when we will run this macro or this subroutine then this line will not execute okay so this is for only the information or the second method of writing the comments is we can start the comments with rem keyword and then whatever we will write here this is a uh, comments then it will also will not execute on the type of execution this macro fine so this is the method of writing the comments we should write the comments in our macro to make it more readable wherever it is required okay so friends let's move on to the next step that is the variable and data type okay so friends variable uh, we use the variable in our macro or in uh, writing a subroutine or a function so basically variable uh, we define the variable with the dim and then the variable name like uh, i'm taking here t as then the variable type so what is the type of variable so let's say the i'm taking here integer so this is the uh, dim t as integer now t will be defined as integer so integer is a variable type so first of all i will tell you about the variable type how many type of variable we have or the data type basically so uh, this is the list of the variable you can get this from the google also so friend integer and long integer which is long single double numeric number currency date string string is the text or uh, the type text basically that is called a string and object boolean true and false variant white so these is these are the type of the integer the integer is the numeric number so this is the range of that integer 32000 uh, approximately and whenever you feel you need a long integer then you can use as long fine so let me give you an example for this sorry so we will go to the developer tab visual basic now here i have taken t as integer okay so if i will assign t is equal to 10 and then i will run this code there is no error if i will assign t is equal to let's say a text as a then there is an error which is type mismatch it means we have declared t as integer which is numeric number then we are assigning a text value to this number that means it is giving an error and the second math let's say i am assigning t equal to 32000 then there is no error if i will assign t equal to 40000 so there is a overflow error because the range of the integer is minus 32768 to positive 32767 okay and this is the 40000 so here we need to take in that case dim t as long let's reset it now run it it will not give an error to run a macro or a subroutine we can also press alt f8 f8 so now this macro window will be displayed we can select from here the macro name and run okay this is the second met method to run a macro so friends this is about the procedures overview of the vba and the variable and data type in our next video we will learn how to use these procedures and the variable
in our next video we will learn about more use of these things and we'll learn the lot of things in this series thank you so much for the watching